This simulation run demonstrates how to handle a ship to berth alongside a key, in a condition of strong onshore wind. The windage area is forward. The objective of this scenario is to use rudders and engines, with the benefit of the wind to gently bring the vessel laterally in parallel with the key. Before going to a solution, let's review the principles of the wind effects on a vessel stopped on water. In general, there are three types of vessels with relative differences in the positions of windage areas. The vessel in the middle has her windage area midship. It means the center of wind pressure is at the pivot point. Assuming that the pivot point is at the center of gravity when the ship stops on the water. The vessel on the left has her windage area forward. The center of wind pressure is before the pivot point when she stops. The vessel on the right has her windage area abaft. The center of wind pressure is after the pivot point when she stops. What is the behavior of a ship due to the strong wind on the beam? The vessel on the left tends to stern bore into the wind. The vessel on the right tends to run across the wind, while the middle tends to lie across the wind. The issue here is how to get the benefit of the wind to gently bring the vessel on the left, and the right moving sideways, like the vessel at the middle. For a vessel with windage area forward, apply head engines and rudder towards the wind. The moment due to transversal thrust of the rudder effects balances the moment caused by the wind. The result is that the ship moves sideways without turning. For the vessel with windage area abaft, apply head engines and rudder to the other side. The moment due to transversal thrust of the rudder effects also balances the moment caused by the wind. Therefore, the ship also moves sideways without turning. There is a note that, due to applying our head engines, the ship starts moving forward. Applying engine astern should stop this headway. The wind force pushes the ship to move sideways only. If the ship equipped with a right-handed propeller, astern engines could benefit to create an opposite moment to the wind moment. This simulation is going to demonstrate how to handle to berth a ship port seat alongside, with windage area forward, and in strong onshore wind. Maneuvering steps. This maneuvering can be divided into four basic steps. Step 1. Approach the berth at an angle about 60 degrees with a low engine ahead. Step 2. Rudder hard to starboard. Control the engines and the rudder angle to handle the ship to the position of the berth. When reaching this position, the ship is expected to stop engines, has no headway and parallel with the key. Step 3. When the ship stopped, due to windage area forward, the wind effects should turn her bow to the port side. Apply engines ahead with the rudder hard to starboard to kill the turning moment of the wind. Then engines astern to stop the ship headway. As equipped with a right-handed propeller, Astern engines can also create an opposite moment to kill the wind moment. In this manner, the ship moves sideway and parallel with the key. Step 4. When the vessel is close to the key, send headlines and stern lines fore and aft. Then, pass and secure fore and aft springs and adjust the ship's position to suit with head and stern lines. In this scenario, the ship model is a container vessel. Her length is 121 meters, breadth is 21 meters and draft is 6.5 meters. The ship is fully laden and fixed with a single right-handed propeller, and her windage area is forward. The wind direction is 90 degrees with a speed of 15 knots. The video speed is set 5 times faster than in the real time.
The lateral speed due to the wind should be taken into account to ensure that it is acceptable for the fenders of the berth. It is advisable that the use of the offshore starboard anchor can reduce the approaching lateral speed and may facilitate for departing with the same direction of the wind. A ship with high freeboard likes container carrier, Roro ship, cruise vessel has more wind effects on the beam. The wind effects are also more for the ship in ballasting condition than one in loading condition. This video is just a maneuvering scenario, run and simulation for a ship model. In practice, each ship has different maneuverability and windage effects. The windage effects are also various in different loading condition. Thus, it is necessary to adjust the time taken steps and apply the propellers, the rudders properly to obtain the best maneuvering performance.